morning, good morning. Today is Wednesday. And apparently I don't have a load yet. Dispatch sent me a message earlier already saying that uh, he's working on something. He's uh, apparently uh, he's got some stuff, but he's checking some stuff. That's what he basically told me. And he hasn't forgotten about me. That's what he said. Well, in the meanwhile, I went and took a shower up here and then uh, now I'm done with that. Now I'm going to go over to the Husky. And I'll probably go have me breakfast over there. Since up here at the Flying J they don't have uh, they don't have a restaurant in here so I figure I'll go over to the Husky and uh, have a restaurant in there. They actually have not bad uh, breakfast in there, so probably go have me breakfast done. And then if I all of a sudden do get a load, at least I am ready to roll, you know? Yeah, it looked like a couple of guys up there had problems starting their truck today. You see, one guy, he had a... He had a uh, service truck there, and another guy. He uh, was boosting his batteries from another truck there, so I guess that's not good. But what can you do? When it's that cold, you either you either have to leave your truck idling or. or something like that or you have good batteries you know if you don't have that then you are gonna have problems starting the truck in the morning if it's super cold and it was pretty cold here overnight so I guess those guys weren't prepared for it so anyways I'm just about to pull into the husk here so I'll go have breakfast and I'll see you guys later we have just picked up our uh, Reloaded trailer here in uh, Brampton, Ontario, which is very close to Mississauga. Yep, it's already 12:30 here, Manitoba time. But uh, hey, at least we're getting out of here. He told me to bring this load to Steinbach, but it's actually going to Edmonton, Alberta. So I asked the dispatcher if I could take it all the way through. I said, you know, I've been having pretty crappy. Pretty, I've had a pretty crappy week all week, so uh, I asked if I could take it to Edmonton. He said, yep, no problem. So I'll be taking this load all the way through to Edmonton. So it's got to be there Monday. Today is Wednesday afternoon already. And uh, I think we should have no problem getting it there by, uh, by Monday, you know. Monday 8 a.m. it's supposed to be there, so... Stop here. Red light. All right. So yeah, no, I think I should be able to make it there by uh, by Sunday night. I think I should be there. Should be no problem. And now at least we'll have ourselves some good miles, you know. Well, it's evening. I am finished for the day. I am in near on Center, Ontario, right now. And uh, hey, it's supposed to be super cold overnight, so that AP unit is gonna run pretty much all night long, I bet you. Because it's supposed to go down to 30 below zero with the uh, Celsius, that is. That is cold. I bet you that is about 20 below zero Fahrenheit. And on top of that is the windshield yet, so it's gonna be cool tonight. But, hey, I got that AP unit, and so far I've never had a problem. As long as that thing runs, I'll be able to start my truck in the morning. Because that thing charges my battery. It has a hose that goes through my rad. It pumps the antifreeze through the block, and it keeps it warm. I should have no problem starting it tomorrow morning. 
but hey I'm gonna go cook me something to eat here and probably pop in another movie like the movies that I showed you guys I only watched one of them so I'll probably pop in the other one I'll probably watch a movie tonight since this load isn't in a big rush and oh yeah I did uh, add some 911 into my fuel tanks it's a red bottle it's called 911 diesel additive it's supposed to uh, prevent your diesel from freezing up and I also added a gallon of kerosene and so that should uh, help me from uh, keeping my diesel freezing up so uh, we should be good uh, at least I keep my fingers crossed that we shall be good so with that hey guess what I'll be watching movie and everything and so with that we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. don't forget to give me the thumbs up share the video subscribe if you haven't if you did thank you very much I appreciate it that means a lot to me so again we'll see you tomorrow at 5